Now we love all things Scouse and very soon, in a few weeks in fact, it's going to be Global Scouse Day. So I've got kind of what you call one of the organisers, although he wouldn't take credit for it that way, Mr Adam Franklin from the Yacht Club to tell us all about it. Adam, first of all, we've got to start off. What is a perfect pan of Scouse? Um, potatoes, onions, uh, beef, a bit of stock uh, and carrots. And that to me is the perfect recipe. Don't mess with it. Make it like your nan used to make it. <laughs> and then some brown sauce and crusty bread and beetroot. But then other people would say it's lamb and pickled cabbage. And that's the whole thing about Scouse. It's, you know, it's- You can make it your own. You can make it your own. Okay, now I'm a veggie. So I've yeah. got to ask, as a veggie, how would you make a Scouse, but still keep it authentic? What would you do? Not and put tofu in it. <laughs> what are you gonna- More you got, veg. More veg. Yeah, just more veg. No corn. No, maybe some pulses or something like okay. that. So thicken it up with that. Spice so a bit of protein. Bit, yeah, but not tofu. Okay. Definitely not tofu. tofu? Tofu, tofu, <laughs> potato, potato. No fake yeah. meat, basically. No fake meat. No, no, just mix it up with something new. Absolutely. Instead. Okay, so now we know what Scouse is. Tell us where Global Scouse Day came from. So Global Scouse Day was started four years ago by a guy called Graham, who'd just come back from Jinga Island, was celebrating his birthday, invited a load of people around to eat Scouse. And then a couple of foodies from the city, uh, Laura and John and Dave, and then myself the year later, um, we realized that Scouse was disappearing off the yeah. menus in the city. So it, became, it sort of became quite unfashionable. Yeah. Um, and uh, it was Graham's birthday, the 28th of February. So we've all got together in the last couple of years and just built it up and built it up. And then last year we had 126 restaurants involved. Uh, massive big brand participation and support from Virgin and Liverpool Football Club and Everton Football Club and we're going to try and make it a little bit bigger so this year. You, you mentioned the restaurants, talk us through how it works. So basically at the moment all that people can do in advance is the restaurants, they can sign up to be a part of this can't they? Absolutely, globalscouseday.com print off a poster either a red or a blue depending on your <laughs> affiliation um, stick it in the window we're asking for a donation of a pound per bowl of scouse and that goes to the two nominated charities which is the R charity yeah. for the new royal hospital and Whitechapel. so it's all for a good cause yeah and as well as this so we're supporting charities restaurants are getting involved and then on the day on the 28th of february people can get down to these restaurants and buy a pan of scouse and that's literally as simple as it is isn't it put your woolly hat on <laughs> Get into the city yeah. and every, you know, I mean, it, it is going to be nearly every restaurant, you know, this year will have a bowl of Scouse on. Yeah. Try a couple. Everybody's kind of, you know, really sensitive about the pricing of it as yeah. well, you know, so it's reasonably inexpensive. Yeah. So you can get around a couple. Uh, as a team last year, we got around 37. Wow. I mean, it was one spoonful in each place, but we did, okay, we did 37. Okay, I'm going to set a challenge and I'm going to set Jay Hind has got to go around as many as he can as well. So I'm going to get him involved in this on Global Scouse Day. We'll follow him around with the camera crew and make sure that happens And as well. we want a photo of his food baby at the end of it. <laughs> yeah, we'll make that happen as well. So yeah. there's the food element of it. People can get out in town, eat the Scouse, but they can also get tweeting about it because last year we were almost trending nationally, weren't we? It was literally that far away. From, I mean, we're trending locally by eight o'clock in the morning. People so excited yeah. about, you know, what they're doing and chefs taking photographs of the food. And that's what we want this year. Massive social networking. We yeah. want everybody using the hashtags, taking photographs of the food. Last year, we had a video sent from a, an ex Pat, ex Liverpool Pat in Thailand Amazing. making. Uh, we had one from Canada, we had a couple from New York, we had Brilliant. one from Singapore, a guy literally on the beach with his barbecue <laughs> making That's a pan of scouts. That's what it's all about, we a love it, absolutely. representing around the world. Absolutely. So get involved on the 20th February, hashtag Global Scouts Day, and there's loads of other events as well. We haven't got time to mention them now, but we'll put them up online. Uh, follow us on Twitter, at The Guide El Pool, and we'll make sure they all get up on there, because there are loads of great events, whiskey things, gin things. We've got gin journey, we've got We've uh, got we've tastings got whisk, happening, yeah, there is so much going on, so make sure you get involved. 28th of February. Adam Franklin, thank you so much.